So continuing on with uh, a little bit of the JSX explanation, we're gonna make one more function that actually is an if statement. But along with that if statement, we're gonna nest this uh, format name function inside of it. And so what our goal is for this video is to, one, take the name out of the user, but if there is no name inside of user, we want it to pass uh, just hello stranger instead of hello and the person's name. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here and we're actually gonna do, we're gonna create the second function. And inside this function, we're gonna call it get greeting just like the documentation states. And inside here, we're gonna pass it the username. So, if user is available, what we want it to do is to return a one specific line of JSX. So we're gonna do curly braces, open this up, and just like the uh, format name what we're going to have here is we're going to return an h1 just like before and inside there we're going to do hello and we're going to take the format remember curly braces we're going to invoke the function format name and inside there we're going to pass it the user outside of the curly brace we want to make sure that we have an exclamation mark now here's the second portion see how this second curly brace is still down here this is going to be closing the first one well in the event that it doesn't have a user, what we want it to do is to return similarly another header, but in this time, we're gonna do hello stranger, period. Looks pretty clean. So here we go. Now, we have the element down here, but instead of that, what we're gonna do is, let's see if this works. Get greeting, and then since it's a function. Now I did wanna show one thing here. We're gonna take this we're gonna make a second one just like it and we're gonna call this one user one. And inside user one, I actually already changed the names but we'll do it again, Thomas and then Jones for the last name. So we're gonna save this really quick. We're gonna refresh this page and already, as you can see, here's get greeting there's nothing being passed inside of it, and we're getting hello stranger. Now this function, see how it says here user? Well, the value doesn't have to be called user here. We're simply putting a placeholder for whatever data we put inside of this function, and then it's gonna be ripped apart. Now, obviously you want your naming convention to be concise, where you can reference it, very easily and it's accessible not only to yourself but if you're working on a project with someone else you also want it to kind of make sense like without having to think about it too much so just to show you what i'm talking about inside the function we're now going to pass it user and we're going to save we're going to refresh our page and look at that our first user has been passed through and it now got trickled down, not through just one function, which is right here, but we also passed it through a second function, format name. And as you can see, it user got pushed here, it then was available, 
and then that user got passed into this function which then broke down one more time to user first name and user last name. Now just to show you a little bit more, we're gonna change it to user one, where we change the name to Thomas Jones. And we're gonna save this, we're gonna refresh that, and there you go. User one, as you can see, it didn't have to have the specific name pass through because this is the the variable that's going to be changed or excuse me manipulated and then now as you can see it's being presented on the screen as Thomas Jones so hopefully next time uh, we'll look at rendering some of these elements a couple of different ways and see where that goes